Hi, I'm Brian with Westinghouse Outdoor Power Equipment, and today I'm going to show you how to hook up your Westinghouse ST switch. Before you begin, consult the manual that came with your ST switch. There's some critical information you should read regarding the safe operation of your switch and generator. Speaking of generators, here's a list of generators designed to work with your Westinghouse ST switch. Before you get started, place your generator in a well-ventilated area, at least 15 feet away from any doors or windows. For added safety, we recommend protecting your home with a carbon monoxide detector. Make sure that your generator is in safe operating condition. Check the oil level. Make sure you've got plenty of gas, check your battery connection, and turn your fuel switch to the on position. This is important. Check that the breakers on your generator and ST switch are in the operating position. The flip style breakers should be up and the button style breakers pressed in. Now we're gonna hook up your cables. Find your generator control cable and hook it up to the ST switch outlet on the generator. As long as the ST switch is plugged into home power, the control cable will ensure that your battery stays charged while your generator is standing by. Now we're going to hook up the four prong power cable from the ST switch to the generator. Make sure you line up the extra tab on the plug to the tab on the generator and twist the plug for a secure connection. If you happen to be using one of our 5300 series generators, make sure the voltage selection switch is in the 240 position. Finally, switch the generator control switch to run and make sure the battery indicator light comes on. Time to hook up your ST switch. Find a dry place that's away from the elements to place your switch. Don't put it outside. Plug a three-pronged grounded extension cord into a standard household outlet that does not have a GFCI breaker. And plug the other end into the utility input plug on the front of the ST switch. If the extension cord has power, the green home power light on the ST switch will light up. Next, hook up the generator control cable. And finally, we'll attach any appliances you'd like to run to the top outlet on your ST switch. Now let's talk about how many appliances you can hook up. A good basic rule is, don't exceed what you would normally plug into one standard outlet in your home. As a safety measure, there's a 20 amp circuit breaker on the top of the switch. If this breaker pops due to too much load, neither home power nor generator power will be supplied to your appliances. And that's it. You've successfully set up your Westinghouse ST switch. Now let's do a quick test to make sure you got everything hooked up correctly. Unplug the cord leading from the ST switch to the wall outlet to simulate a power outage. On the ST switch, the home power light will go from green to red. The generator will turn on, warm up for about 10 seconds. On the ST switch, you will see the green generator light come on letting you know the generator is working, supplying power to your appliances. Next step, plug the extension cord back into the wall outlet to simulate the resumption of home power. On the ST switch, you'll see the green home power light come on. After about five seconds, the red home power light will turn off. The generator will continue to run for about 50 seconds to cool off. And on the ST switch, you'll finally see the generator light turn off. And that's it. You successfully installed and tested your Westinghouse ST switch. You're prepared for the next power outage.